hello collective welcome back to my platform thank you for watching as always please remember to like comment share subscribe to the youtube channel okay let's see what in the name of source is going on here in this tarot reading for today i am sending you all lots of love joy peace and happiness many many blessings to you and your families please remember to stay in the purest of white light and highest of vibrational energy i return to source i return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white lights. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you is being returned to you. Okay, <clears throat> it's returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled. As we speak, Lord, these cars are just flying by. Just a flying by. Uh huh. judgment is final someone you are being advised to be mindful of the energies around you be watch be be vigilant it's what you are being told you have quite a few energies watching you especially a king of cups that is showing out here in the reverse this sucker has appeared in the reverse in the last three readings okay so be absolutely vigilant this is someone that is a liar um, this is someone that expected to receive some type of payment for something he did, something malicious. This is a liar. This is someone emotionally imbalanced. You could have separated from someone or you had some type of, I don't know what it is. Either you had a misunderstanding with someone or someone had a misunderstanding with you. Someone told a lie to the rest of the rock rats, the rest of the hooligans, the rest of the, you know, irrelevant, non-factor group members. Now they've made it a mission to come after you. There is a king of cups in the reverse that is stalking someone online, in person, your your work, your living area. There are, this is not just him. This is multiple people stalking you for some reason. There is some type of plot. Someone thinks that they're gonna have wish fulfillment in causing you some type of ending, blocking some type of opportunity from being presented to you exactly your empress energy and you're supposed to be receiving some type of opportunity i want you to know that in divine timing right the universe is going to intercede on your behalf whatever you're supposed to be receiving is not something anyone can take away from you it is destined to be given to you so there's nothing these people can do to separate you from this abundance this blessing and you already know that the divine is going to bless you these people know also that you are blessed and highly favored Someone has a disdain from, for you because of the energy that you are in. These people are dark. You are of the light. You are abundant, right? You know a little bit too much. These are people that spend time practicing magic and things like that. But then you come about, they see you and they're like, oh, this person is irrelevant. You look like you're a child, but it turns out you know more than they do. These are people that have been practicing magic for 40 years, 50 years. So they pride themselves in their toxicity they don't know any better so we can't hold it against them there's a king of cups a king of wands a king of pentacles a queen of pentacles a queen of wands all working together and then there are other roaches behind them that are working with them as well a lot of these people know each other and some of them they're working independently but in at the end of the day the common denominator is you they're watching you and, and trying to take you down there's some type of malicious plot. People are being sneaky about this. They're doing things in increments. They do a little bit of it today. They wait a week later. They do something else. They wait two weeks later, do something else. And they're thinking that you're not catching on, but you know. And the funny thing about this is why these people are watching you. <laughs> you're going to love this collective. Law enforcement is watching them as well. <laughs> and your ancestors are watching them. The law is watching these people. They don't realize they're being watched. So whatever sneaky behavior they're trying to do, someone's trying to sneak you, a group of people are trying to sneak you, just know that they are being watched. And as in, immediately when someone takes action to come in and do you something, they're going to be facing judgment. Okay? Okay. So don't live in fear of anyone or anything. I'm telling you, this has to do with you receiving an opportunity, a brand new offer from source a new beginning they don't want you having that they want to come in and destroy you before you're able to move on this is like people not wanting you in an environment in a, a in an uh in a community something like that 
mind you, you mind your business. Don't even fret with anyone. You're not talking to anyone, not not communicating with anyone, not stealing. Not, like you're 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 drama free. You prefer to be by yourself. You're not worried about what's going on with Jean, Joe, and Jake, whoever they are. King of Cups, King of Wands, King of Pentacles, King of Swords. You're not worried about what's going on with any of them. Not the King of, not the Queen of Pentacles, not the Queen of Wands. Nobody. You don't care if they're happy in life. Kudos for them. But somehow these people are stuck on you, and you know why they're stuck on you? Because this King of Cups here told a lie to someone. He misled an entire group. He was expecting to receive some type of payment, some type of money. Uh huh. He was hoping to manifest something really good, something really fulfilling. He was unable to because he doesn't are he doesn't know that judgment has already been called on him. Someone is very malicious. I'm telling you, in his burden. Someone is very malicious. Uh huh. I'm telling you. <laughs> Someone was expecting to receive something. They were trying to steal something from you and they're burdened because they can't take it from you. Judgment has been called on this person and they don't realize every action they're taking. Uh huh. It's just bringing them closer and closer to their ending. Law enforcement is definitely involved. They're being watched. Everybody in here and all the other characters that are about to pop up. I said King of Pentacles, right? He's being watched too. Everybody, they're being watched. So while they're busy stalking you online, in person, in your home, at work, trying to cause you legal issues, trying to cause you problems, destabilize you, trying to put you in, give, bring you burdens and stuff, uh-huh, honey, they have bigger burdens to worry about. I'm telling you, this King of Pentacles is on the bottom, does not want to leave. There's absolutely problems coming. Someone thought they were going to have wish fulfillment. You see this Seven of Swords keeps showing up on the bottom. Someone thought they were going to have wish fulfillment, but it turns out all they have is burden or burdens. And that's always going to be until they pay their karma debt, karmic debt. Okay. And you are protected. I'm telling you, the moment someone takes action, because this is something these people have been planning, they're doing this little sneaky stuff. They're like, oh, she, she's not going to see this. He's not going to see this. And mind you, it's all been revealed to you and source is seeing everything these people are doing. They have some type of plot to unalive someone, destroy someone, bring you legal issues and things like that, have you arrested for something you have nothing to do with. Little do they know you're protected and law enforcement is watching every one of them. These people are about to have problems coming up that they've forgotten about. If they have things on their records, things things they think like have has been taken off of their record and things like that. The people are about to be having legal issues they can't even imagine, okay? Um, people are about to be losing their homes. This king of cups here may be homeless or is about to be homeless. Uh, he's going to be having to find some type of safe place to go and things like that. May want to form new alliances. Yeah, he's burdened because you, collective, you are getting your wish come through. You are going to be stepping into abundance. You're going to be connecting with new people, places, and things genuine people not these rock rats that are out here invading your privacy trying to make you feel uncomfortable trying to make you feel unsafe if you were to see some of these people you will feel embarrassed for them you know that secondhand embarrassment that we feel for people when something is going on that's what you will feel because some of these people are old enough to be your grandparents your parents like they should know better than what they're doing. But people in this group are very hateful, very spiteful. Some of them are even jealous and things like that. So this is why they're watching you. And they know that you know what they're doing, but they're in denial. They're like, oh, well, she's one person. He's one person. We don't care if they're watching. But you get to move on collective and they're going to be trapped. The moment someone takes action to come in and do you something, honey, hmm, they're going to wish, wish they never did it. I'm telling you, they're going to wish they never did it because there's something they're not seeing. They're clouded. They have clouded judgment. Someone is very manipulative. He's a liar. He told a lie. And this is why they're all trapped uh, and he's experiencing financial issues. Someone may even do funny things for money. Someone out here, your ex does funny things for money. And I'm just going to put it that, that way to be polite. He does funny things for money. But this person here, his mental is shaky, shaky in the worst way possible. Someone is very envious of a feminine energy and he has made it his mission to destroy you. So everything he's been doing 
is to bring balance into in a situation in his mind if you are unstable if you lose everything just like he's lost everything then the few is settled things are balanced out but that's not how it's going to go you're going to be abundant collective this is what you don't see coming in okay they want to sneak you they don't they want you to be blind feeling stuck like this is like you going on about your life right doing the right thing healing moving forward you're happy and then they just want to come in and surprise you with some type of attack it's not going to happen that way when the moment they take action they're murdering themselves they're going to be in something they cannot get out of this is when people start sinking like a canary because the law enforcement will immediately get involved and they're asking questions and everybody has to say what the heck is going on or this is when people start serving 25 years to life 10 years with probation all kinds of stuff losing losing their their uh, freedom safety security all kinds of stuff let's someone or a group of people the meaning they take action right the uh, exposure they're going to go through is going to be like so embarrassing some of them may even end up on the news and they don't understand like how big something is they're seeing you they say oh it's just one person this person is relevant is irrelevant little do they know the most high has its hands all up in this something is set up by divine intervention like the most high is letting these people set something up and they think they're going to get away with it and the moment they take action to do something thinking they're going to get away with it it's going to be an ending for them some of you i'm telling you law enforcement is involved law enforcement is involved they're all being watched someone you have a neighbor that's obsessed with you obsessed is disgusting and nasty disgusting nasty same thing it is eerie how obsessed your neighbor is with you you need to be careful who you are socializing with and things like that you get to move on but these people have legal issues coming in i'm telling you mm, their plot is to end you they want to end you so bad that you cannot recover anymore but this is what's coming for them you get to walk away you may need to move but you're going to be moving in divine timing source is going to let you know when it's the right time to move by the time you're moving you'll know where you're moving you'll have your finances in place set in stone and it won't be shakable there's something where people have been doing where they're able to interfere with your finances and things like that you may have a kink of source that's planning to interfere with your finances let these people do what they want to do right everybody has their day in court everybody has their day in court and the unfortunate thing with karmic people unhealed people insecure people is that when they're coming up against you they feel invincible when they have a friend in law enforcement they they assume they are in the clear they can do whatever they want and their friend is going to back them up and they're going to get away with whatever it is they want to do or whatever it is they're doing it's not so in this situation everyone is going to be held accountable even if someone goes in and all of them have has practiced their little speech to have answers to every question law enforcement asks them it's not going to go the way they think it's going to go there's going to be a surprise okay so let them keep plotting get yourself a good night's sleep because this is going to be this these people disappointed losing a lot of money with a lot of sorrows martyring themselves even though they were told not to do something the the anger the hate someone has a lot of hate a group of people have a lot of hate just seething in them like it's just boiling you see how a, a pot of water boils and the water is just off bubbly at, at the top just a rumbling in there rumbling in there that's how hateful some of these people hard are like if you could literally see it on a microscopic level you would see like just a lot of actions going in there because they're seething with hate someone is so hateful that sometimes they can feel their heart pulsating like like it, it, it they can't control it it's like they're having a fr freaking panic attack or some type of heart attack or a stroke or something because they're so filled with hate for another person they don't even know that's the part collective i forgot to mention you don't know these people on a personal level besides this person who may be an ex someone you may be familiar with 
but someone has a problem with you and you don't even know the problem this is because this person is a liar they cause a lot of mental conflict confusion i'm telling you law enforcement is involved this car keep wanting to come out okay law enforcement is involved i'm going to do something a little different with my cars today i'm going to actually shuffle this and then put the deck down and take from it i want to see how this story goes because this is kind of just ridiculous all these people watching someone this king of cups is obsessed with you honey obsessed and for some of you this is not someone you dated this is just someone that's just either you work with this person and he feels that he's come up with the perfect plan by getting people to go up against you betray you come for you uh sending spell work to your heart but little do they know it's a lot bigger and deeper than what they think it is okay there could be like some type of cult mentality in here honey <laughs> these people don't know what's coming for them regardless of what these people do you have a lot of i'm telling you opportunity growth as acceleration coming to you you're going to be someone of high honor you just need to keep pushing forward you're almost at the end of whatever it is you're doing someone is putting in a lot of work it's not uh, honey people are putting in a lot of work like why they are putting in work is because you're someone that's a uh, very abundant as i mentioned right and they don't want you thriving in life you may have been in some type of relationship with a king of cups that was in the reverse uh-huh and you may have been doing a lot better than this person and they're envious because of that someone is very talentless on scale does not really have much to offer to any companies and things like that been working in the same position for maybe th maybe 30 years or something like that and you come about you're younger than this person and he's envious of you because you have all of these analytical and practical skills that you can use to make money and then you're gifted and things like that he's very envious of you someone cannot compete with you so their uh, way of defeating you is by lying on you and leading people to believe that you're something that you are not so he's been causing a lot of conflict and illusions behind the scenes so that people can see you in a light that's not yours someone may have even said that you stole from them you took some type of money from them um you you are the reason why they're stuck in the situation that they are in maybe they're homeless they've lost a lot but you didn't have nothing to do with what this person is going through someone is simply going through what they're going through because of their actions they collaborated against you with a group of people that they should not have collaborated against you with what's about to be happening for you collective while these rock rats these hooligans are plotting behind the scenes to bring you endings you're elevating, of course, okay? You're elevating. You're coming out of stagnation into an abundant energy. You're almost at the finish line, right? You've worked your behind off to get to where you are, and you're about to be very influential, extremely abundant. People are going to want to see you when you get to the peak of your career. Even before you get there, people are fascinated by you. You have a lot to offer. You're very skilled, uh-huh, very committed. People are interested in what you have to say. There is going to be absolutely an investigation, as I mentioned earlier, by everything that's been taking place. These people think they're, they've covered all of their tracks. <laughs> Sometimes you have to like laugh at these karmics. You have to laugh at people that are this delusional, where they think they can take action to do all of this madness. And they think they're just gonna be able to separate themselves from it and act like nothing ever happened and then just move on with your life or their lives that's not how it works there is an investigation going on if there is not right now that's what's coming up real quick absolutely really quick and someone is burdened by this someone is burdened you're having wish fulfillment and they have to go in and answer questions someone be someone may be going to jail and someone is stuck in their mind said i did everything to block this person i don't tell all the lies i can tell i separated this person from their families and friends and colleagues and strangers as well and you want to tell me this person is still moving forward uh yes you're damn skippy they are someone has some type of mental illness is what i just heard mental illness uh-huh someone has mental illness 
they pretend like they are you and you are them. So you're someone of someone very sharp, very intellectual, quick witted. Like you know what these people are doing. Someone may even want to come towards you at some point and apologize. You don't need no apology from any of these people. The only reason they are apologizing is because they could not succeed in this malicious plan to take you out. If they would have succeeded, I bet you they would not be losing a tear over you. So you don't need no apology from anyone. Pull your sore out. This is what someone does not get about you in this situation. Or maybe these people don't understand. You show up in the star energy, a healer, a blessing, right? Someone very uh, nurturing to have around. So that's all they see about you. But under all of that, this is you also. Queen of Swords, have your sword pulled out. You're just waiting for a mother effort to pull, to, to bust a move. This is like them coming into your energy to pick some type of fight with you. And you'll break them down with your words to the point where they will need some type of uh, professional help. This is like you breaking someone down diplomatically, tactfully, but it still bruises their ego and self-esteem. And after that, they have nothing to say to you. All they have to, all they can really do is walk away. Okay. Someone has led a group of people astray. I told you this queen of wands. I mentioned the queen of wands when I started. Absolutely. All of these characters, they may have to go within and figure out what's the next best move should we come into this person's energy is what we're doing even worth it why are we doing this what's going to happen are we 100 percent sure that coming after this person is going to go in our favor i can tell you 100 percent now it's not it's not and you all can keep stalking keep slandering keep doing all the little childish little girl stuff you're doing little boy stuff you're doing but just know you need to do it from afar the moment you try to come in that star sees energy to unalive them burden them do something to them you might as well be signing your own aside certificate your own death certificate okay because the decision has already been made for this person to elevate someone is very burdened because why there could be a masculine in here that's trying to separate himself from this group to come give you a love offer collective. You're not interested. I don't want to speak for you, but if someone is willing to participate in this low vibrational activity, and then all of a sudden something happens and they want to separate themselves now to come talk to you, or they want forgiveness. Listen, we forgive you from afar. We hope you go, you move on to heal. I'm telling you, this is the truth. <laughs> someone now wants to come and apologize to you they're in their mind stuck in their mind should i go and tell her the truth should i go and tell him the truth honey you do whatever you want to just know we forgive you from afar there is no rekindling okay the universe is presenting you collective with absolutely new beginnings these are things you're not even expecting and you know these people are working behind the scenes to block you they say oh yeah, we can't let them receive any opportunities because we need this person stuck until we can come in and take them out. We need them stuck until we can bring legal issues to them. They've tried everything. They've tried to have you on a live. They've tried to have you in prison. They're just going back over, starting over again. That's all they're doing. They've tried everything before. Try to have you homeless, childless, uh, loveless, out of here in prison they've tried everything it didn't work but they're going to keep trying and keep trying and every time they try you know what's happening they're just occurring more karma their lives are falling apart they're going to keep pretending like everything is a-okay but behind the door behind the closed doors this is them that, that's them they don't want people seeing you in uh i don't know what this is they don't want people seeing you in your true light your true energy you're pure they want to keep clouding people's judgment about you. Say, hey, this person here, I know they look like they, I know they look well put together. I know they sound very educated, but they're retarded, okay? They're mentally retarded. Like I can prove it. I can prove it. I have doctor I have their doctors, their medical papers, I can show you. They're actually mentally retarded. And they don't realize that every time they're doing that, 
they're just sealing their fit in because at some point those that I have a I have their medical record. Oh yeah, that's gonna come in real handy later when the investigation is going on. Because you know what? Someone already told the police about that more than likely in some of your cases. And they're gonna be asking, hey, we would like to see those medical papers you've been so eager to show everybody. And what do you know, collective? It is a fraudulent document. Someone may have paid a doctor to forge some type of document. Mm -hmm. Someone may have violated HIPAA for some of you. And they're going around telling people you had this, you did this, all kinds of stuff. And all of that is going to come out in this investigation. Something is not as hidden as people think it is. It's not as hidden. And while they're going through all of this chaos, right? Literally, things are about to flip where when people are going through all of this chaos, your life is elevating. And these people won't be able to get in touch with you, in contact with you, nothing. This is when they're going to be praying that they can get in contact with you so they can ask for forgiveness. Because someone in here is delusional enough to believe that if they reach out to you uh -huh, and tell you how sorry they are, will you please forgive me? I don't know what came over me. I don't know what took over me that you're going to be delusional enough to say, oh, honey, I forgive you. I'm going to drop the case. I don't want to file charges against you. Oh, you made a mistake. You just made a little boo-boo. Okay. That's what someone thinks is going to happen. I'm telling you, someone from your past wants to connect with you. <laughs> you could have a feminine energy that now remembers that you were a genuine person. You extended a genuine olive branch for friendship to them. You were actually being nice to this person and they betrayed you for this group. And now that things are going haywire or about to go haywire, they want to come in. I'm telling you, it's not genuine though. Someone from your past wants to come in just to sneak you. He's a thief. He's a thief. He is a thief. He's working with other people behind the scenes to steal from you. Someone thought they were going to come into your home, come into your life, come into your energy in some way, somehow, and steal from you. They thought you were still naive enough to accept them back into your energy. What I'm hearing is block. You have someone on block. You have someone on block. They can't get a hold of you. They're not able to come in and deceive you because you see right through them. You see right through them. They don't know how you do that as a shati. <laughs> you know those Nikki, Nikki bars? You see right through me. How do you do that? Beep. You all know I'm not a singer, so don't even come for my singing. You all already know. Thinking it's not my gift. Yeah, this is something they're trying to hide. This is this is a secret. They think you don't know. You're supposed to come in and be real genuine with you. And say, hey, hon, I, I, I haven't seen you in a while. They're supposed to come and reconnect, reunite things with you, and then sneak you. This is a whole ritual. This is a whole ritual. You're not supposed to see what it is they're coming in to do. <laughs> Ooh, you gotta give the karmics an A for effort. You have to give them an A for effort. And while they're planning all of this, there's someone behind the scenes that know everything these people are planning. You're still going to be stepping out in your brand new beginning. Lord have mercy. And it's pissing people off. You know, I'm telling you, court case. <laughs> Court case, your new beginning is protected. Someone wants to come in and steal it from you, block it, hide it, do something with it. It's not happening. Your new beginning is protected. You're stepping out in faith, bold, courageous, open mind, open hearts. The universe granted you this. That's, that is a source, is a pentacles. It's absolutely from the divine. And this is your justice. Okay, and it's protected. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, someone is bitter. They are bitter. 
they know you're still receiving what's yours. So they want to come in with some type of ridiculous offer just to hurt you. Just to hurt you. This could be someone you, you were very close with. A friend, a lover, you were very close with this person. You may have opened up to this person and they betray you for money. Money they're not receiving, by the way. Someone thought they were going to betray you. They, they betray you for money and they thought they were going to receive it. They're not. Instead, they're going through financial problems. Someone could be homeless, unemployed. They don't have skills, so they're having a hard time getting back on their feet. Dang. And the whole time while they're going through all of that, they're still plotting on you to destroy you. They're not getting their way in court. Hmm. I'm telling you. All of these people are about to be miserable as heck. If they aren't now, they're about to be miserable as heck. And you're putting an end to all of this with them. They say, hey, you all can stay in your karmic chapter. I'm done with that. I'm moving on. The Most High says it's time for me to move on. I guess to move on. So you all can do what you want. Okay? Dang. I'm telling you. Your finances are going to be straightened out. And you get to work and focus on your dreams. Manifest that abundance that is yours. Lord, can you believe this? A whole group of people coming together to destroy one person and you still get to overcome them. There's a masculine in here that is so unhinged. He does things very meticulously. He said, I got this under control. I'm not rushing. I'm going to take my time. And when I strike, she's out. When I strike, he's out. Little does he know, when he strikes, he's out. <laughs> when he strikes, he's out. But he thinks when he strikes, you're out. No, sir. That's not what's happening. Whoever you're coming for, they're moving on. They're protected. You're not. You already fumble your protection. Someone is very imbalanced. And he works from behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. He works from behind the scenes. Listen, collective, and you have a whole new beginning somewhere else. Commitment, a solid commitment somewhere else. Somewhere else. Dang. Ooh, I said solid commitment and the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles comes out. You're walking away. You are walking away. There could be an emperor in here that's choosing to do the right thing and he's walking away from these people. Or maybe he's coming into your energy to give you some type of offer. You're going to be receiving some type of offer. Okay? And this is going to enable you to move on with your life, put an end to this chapter. Ah, there she goes. I knew she was, I knew she was a problem. This woman here. <laughs> this woman has been showing up in my readings in the same energy she's going through her ending going through an ending and she's been trying to hold it up you know like you know you have karma coming in and you're trying to like like no wait 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 i'm not ready i'm not ready and karma said uh okay i don't even know what that means but i'm here I'm here. It's time. <laughs> oh, she's like, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Get me. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> and my aunt, my aunt said, um, what is hold on? Can somebody explain to me what hold on means? Please. Oh my gosh. Maya is not, not here to play with you, ma'am. This woman could be trying to balance things out for herself so she may end up betraying someone. Oh, there goes the king of swords. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Ooh, that's why I just exposed this King of Swords, basically. Mm. I exposed this man. This woman is going through an ending. Collective, you're going through a promotion. You're going to receive what's yours. Like you're going to be receiving some type of job opportunity or something you've been investing in is about to take off. This is what they've been trying to block is to put an end to you being able to elevate your business exploding, your business going viral, your business succeeding, things like that. Like every time something is supposed to happen, these people interfere. And, and I think they thought that they got away with it or something or nothing was going to come of it or that nobody knew what they were doing. They thought they were moving in silence. Like they were discreet. No one is discreet for the universe. I said it. Someone was wanting to remove themselves from this karmic group to come to you, right? Here it is, this King of Swords removing himself to come connect with you. And he has to come and say how yeah, sorry he is, this and that. That's a whole lot of sorry and sorry and a whole lot of forgiveness. I don't know if your ancestors want anything to do with that mess. I'm telling you, I said ancestors, and here they are. They're telling you to walk away, by the way. Just let that man be where he is. If he chose to move on and leave that group behind, good. But don't take this person back. Someone cost you a whole lot. You may not even know how much this person cost you or what they were intending to do to you. Someone wanted you flat out, like even maybe like out of here, out of here. Like if you had a platform that was supposed to go viral, this would be the character that stepped in to block it from going viral. If you had a business that was supposed to explode, people were going to be coming to your company to buy your products and things like that. This would be the character that stepped in to block it from, from happening. Yeah. Now they want to come in because they're burdened. Your ancestors is hunting someone. Your ancestors are hunting someone, correction. And they want to come in now and tell you the truth. About how they, yeah, they interfere with your income, your business, your livelihood. But as you can see, you're elevating. You have went from the seven of pentacles to the eight of pentacles. You're skilled. You have a lot of you have a lot to offer. Uh-huh. You have a lot to offer. And you're going to be arriving at some new institution where you're going to be very beneficial to have around. And these people are trying to put an end to that. I told you this King of Swords here is the one that did something to you. He's the one. He interfered with your work. Now he may want to come me and say, Oh, I'm so sorry for what I did to you. Something is eating someone up. Something is eating someone up. And he don't know what to do about it. Something is eating a energy up behind the scenes. He thought he knew what he was getting into. Now that the truth is exposed to him, he's going through some type of humbling as well. It's like he cost you a lot of money. He caused you some type of stability, and now he's losing his stability. And it's divine intervention. That's how the universe work, works. What you take from someone, you lose also. You take their stability away, you lose your stability. Someone may have lost a job. Someone may, may have lost a home, lost their finances, lost quite a lot. And there's a, there's a law enforcement energy in here. That's bringing these people a storm. He's bringing them a storm. And they're not happy about it. Of course not, because they thought they had covered all their tracks. <clears throat> they said, hey, hold on now. What's going on here? I know I had a VPN on. I know I only talked to you mother suckers about this situation. I know I rented a whole different car to go to this person's house to do this. Uh, I know I created a whole fake profile with no personal information to stalk this person online. How does this man know this much? That is the question the world wants to know, sir. That's the question the world wants to know. 
And you know what? <laughs> that police officer or whoever that is is sitting back and laughing at every single one of you. Laughing at every single one of you. He said, oh, I'm just waiting for someone. And your ancestors are here too. Like someone is heavily protected. Like not just the temperance energy, but the judgment card showed up right afterwards. Someone is heavily protected. I'm not here to see anyone as your soulmate after they've destroyed you. I don't care about none of that. Someone took action to destroy, to block, to end some type of offer, elevation you were supposed to receive. I'm not about to sit here and tell you, oh, your soulmate is going through a change. And honey, as far as I care, your soulmate can kick rocks and throw peppers. Because soulmates don't behave that way. Someone is imbalanced, okay? But just so you know, there is someone behind the scenes that know exactly what these people have been doing, how they've been working together to interfere with your forward movement. They've told people that you were on hands, you were on mentally unstable, you were a thief, something like that, but the truth is known. And there's a tower coming for these people, just like they were trying to cause you a tower, or they're planning to cause you a tower. They have a tower coming for them too. Multiple towers, actually, I'm being corrected to say. Yeah, this is a whole quote. This is a whole quote. Okay. Dang. I'm just putting these out so I can end my prayer right here. In the, oh. If the five for ones don't come out, you know the karmic spread is not complete. If the five for ones does not come out, a karmic spread is not complete. <laughs> my gosh someone said i didn't expect it to go this way man i don't know what i'm gonna do these people are fighting behind the scenes they're yelling at each other i can literally hear a woman yelling at a bunch of people i don't know if they're yelling at her or she's the one that's upset with them someone is yelling behind the scenes there's a masculine that rubs his head a lot. He's bald headed. He rubs his head a lot. Sir, if you rub your head one more time, your skin might start peeling up. That man rubs his poor head a lot. He don't know what the heck he got himself into. These people are going through karma. Most of them are so impulsive, they can't even help it. They can't help how impulsive they are. And this is because of the hate they have for someone else. They were trying to force something to go in their favor. Trying to force something to go in their favor. And it's not, it, don't, it doesn't matter how hard you push their will. It's not going in your favor. Whichever direction the will of fortune turns into is still bringing the right kind of karma. So if you are due bad karma, that's what you're going to receive. If you're due uh good karma bad karma whatever that's what you're going to receive there's nothing you can do to interfere with the will of fortune it's that set in stone so you can flip it upside down sideways listen you're still going to get what you deserve you may just be speeding it up too <laughs> Have you all ever seen like in, in like those movies where you have like people plotting on someone and one day that person is there walking about and they think they have the right opportunity to sneak that person, get that person, and as soon as they pull their gun out to do something, you hear the siren and it's too late, they can't run, can't hide. Now they're pulling out their phone to call the other hooligans. And no one is answering. They'll say, well, you're on your own. And then when they get arrested, they get, get taken to jail. They snitch like a canary. Someone is going to be sinking like a canary. Just like First 48. 
How long does it take those criminals to, to sing when they sit down? About five minutes. About five minutes. They come in there all tough, all loyal. I don't know nothing that happened. I won't I wasn't there. I don't even know who Ray Ray is. I've never seen Ray Ray a day in my life. And then those cops, they say, uh, well, apparently you and Ray Ray went to the same elementary school, the same middle school, the same high school. You two dropped out at in tenth grade, right? And you worked at McDonald's together for five years. You left. You went to Applebee's and you worked there for two months and you got Ray Ray hired a month later or two months later. And you want us to believe that you don't know who Ray Ray is. And apparently Ray Ray dated your sister too for seven years. Man, I tell y'all what I know, man, I, but I can't do no time. Oh, you're going to do time. You're going to do time. Okay, I'll make a deal. That's how it's about to go for these people. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The fact that I'm laughing, there is someone sitting behind the scenes laughing at how idiotic these people are. Because someone is working a case, and this man has been working this case for a long time. He knows the truth. He knows the truth. He knows the truth. I'm hearing something about how he may have been initially involved in something until the truth was revealed to him. And now he sees things for what they are. But he laughs behind the scenes. You collective, you may be under some type of protection and you don't even know it. You may be under some type of protection and you don't even know it. These people are going to some type of high priestess to get readings on you, trying to block you and things like that. And this high priestess, oh, she's letting it loose on them. This woman is letting it loose on these people. She's done with them. She's done. She's doing, like, she's working against them now. She's working against these people now. This is like you going to a high priestess and telling them a lie. Um, and they believe you without looking into stuff. And then every time they do work, it ricochets back to them or the group. And she's starting to get worried. And she's like, this has never happened before. Why is this not working? And then maybe she looks into your energy and she finds out that these people have been lying on you the whole time. So now she's pissed off. She's working on your behalf. She's working on your behalf. And she is throwing some energy at these people. Lord have mercy. She's working on your behalf. She's advocating for you. She said, oh, so that's how you all are? You lied to me? Someone is pissed off that they lied to her, but she should have looked into things earlier. She's pissed off. This woman is pissed off. This group, uh-huh, this group here, they've managed to actually piss off a high priestess. And I want to know what the heck is going on. So I'm going to pull one more card. Yeah. Oh, baby. Uh-huh. She's bringing balance into the situation, baby. Dang it. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> this high priestess. This woman is no joke. Someone has their light and dark side balanced out. And she will use either side. She don't mind dibbling and dabbling on the dark side. This is why they felt comfortable going to her. She doesn't mind. And right now, she's in the dark side. 
using it against them to bring balance into a situation is that oh so you wanted this this person on a live okay i got you you wanted this person unemployed i got you throwing all that energy back at them four times over they pissed their high priestess off now they're fighting amongst themselves because they don't know how things balance back out into your life you still get all of these opportunities and whoever was orchestrating this mess is trapped in her head. This queen of pentacles here. Oh, this was the madame that was the, grab your pitchfork. We're going to go on a life of a, a high priestess, a divine being, a star seed. Grab your pitchforks and your uh, uh, swords and everything. Don't leave anything behind. We need all the tools we can get. To destroy one person. She was trying to trap you, bring you legal issues. Now she's going, look, look at her. Struggling, can't get up. I'm falling and I can't get up. About to be begging, trapped, toxic as heck, can't get out of something. Someone is very low vibrational. Can't help herself. It's too late for her. This is that one of the women you meet, and she's in her 40s and her 50s, very poor hygiene, clothes has all lent over it, all kinds of stuff, doesn't take care of herself, reckless with the mouth, the body, and everything. Just, just reckless. Someone's very loose with the mouth, the energy. Nothing's modest about her. She trapped herself thinking she was trapping you. She's stuck in her mind. How is she getting all these opportunities? I want those opportunities. Why is she still getting married? This lady is stuck in her mind because you're still receiving abundance. You're still getting married. She thought she had tarnished your image enough so that people will reject you. She was working with that King of Cups in the reverse. They've been working real hard behind the scenes. Real hard. We'll give the Carmen's an A for effort again. But the universe, our ancestors are always watching over us and they'll always put the right people in the right places to advocate for us. They've turned an enemy into a supporter for us. This woman knows you're innocent. You didn't do nothing to these people. She knows that. She knows you're a high priestess yourself, man or woman. She said, oh. You all have me attacking this kind of energy. You told me this person was dark. You told me this person stole from you. You told me this person was incompetent, was regarded. You told me this person did this to you. They didn't do nothing to you. They're none of those things. Now I'm angry. Like my four year old, year old sister or sister. Now I'm angry, really angry. And that just cracks me up when she says it. Because she's like the sweetest heart ever. And she's always smiling, always laughing, gives you hugs and kisses and everything. And the fact that she has to tell you she's angry, it just cracks me up. It's like, oh, look at you, sweet little thing. <laughs> so I'm like, no, I'm angry, really angry. I'm like, okay. <laughs> this woman is angry really angry except her anger is not cute it's not cute and these people may even be afraid of her like they're living in fear they don't know what she's about to do they don't even know what you're capable of doing you may just be watching these people and you know what's going on i don't think you're watching them physically but mentally intuitively you know what's going on with these people their lives are falling apart and you know what's uh, what's up ahead of you and it burdens them because this is like your enemy having foresight of you but you don't know anything that's going on with your enemy and you have to sneak around meanwhile she's sitting on her couch or her bed just seeing you all going about fussing amongst yourself going through chaos and you're plotting and planning to come in and destroy her. And lo and behold, the universe, her ancestors, the law, they all know what's going on. What's going on is balance being burned into a situation. Oh, I said balance. 
violence being brought into a situation, law enforcement, there's some type of powerful energy behind the scenes. Hmm. He's not playing with anybody in here. He's not playing. This person is sitting back and just waiting. This is like someone at this point, he doesn't even need to collect any more evidence. I think he just does it now for a habit, a hobby, whatever this is. But this man has enough on everybody. He has enough. And these people were naive enough to think, well, you know, I have my VPN on. <laughs> I'm using a different computer, a different phone. I've masked my phone number. I've masked my email. <laughs> They'll never know it's me. Meanwhile, he knows, he knows, he knows. He knows. <laughs> The reason why this man knows is that he studied the person you all have been trying to take out and he knows how that person moves. So when something is out of alignment, he knows it's not that person doing it. If something funny is going on, he already knows there's problems and it has nothing to do with what that person is doing. This is where you are effed up. Like someone has studied the person you consider an enemy and he studied you too. So he knows how each person moves. So if you're trying to forge someone's signature, set someone up for something, they already know that person is not involved because it's not very characteristic of that star seed. And that star seed has a commitment coming in that you all cannot block. <laughs> Lord have mercy. These people, we definitely do have to give them an A for effort. But when it comes to execution and having a brain, if they only had a brain, we would say if they, if they only had a heart. But these kind of people don't care about having a heart. Most of the time, they want to appear to be smart, articulate, but they're not. And if you're smart and articulate, they'll come in and feel intimidated and then they'll want to dumb you down. And they say, I told you she wasn't that smart. <laughs> I told you he wasn't that smart. Meanwhile, you sit there collective, all quiet, just watching them making a fool out of themselves, and you don't say nothing. You just mind your business. You just a mind your business. Okay. We have 19, 10, mini completion. We have four here, protection, and we have, well, another 10, completion. Something is done, you're protected, just like I said. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, source. Thank you, ancestors, for watching over us and protecting us from these malicious characters, these devious characters that have no limit on how far they will go to try to destroy us. So we want to humbly thank you and definitely thank you to our hidden helpers that help us from behind the scenes without showing their hands and faces. Because if it wasn't for you all, source, ancestors, guardian angels, hidden helpers, we wouldn't be here to be able to expose the truth from our perspective. Mm. Thank you. Something I make sure to do, I always thank my ancestors. I always thank the universe, the source for everything. I don't care what's going on in my life. I can be having the worst day ever and you will hear me say thank you for everything, ancestors. Ancestors, thank you for your protection. Universe, source, I want to thank you for protecting me and my children. Because I know what people try to do. <laughs> A lot of the times I'll know. Having gifts like mine, it can be <clears throat> it can be seen as a curse, but I see it as a blessing. Because not everyone is fortunate enough to be able to see some of the things I see. It's a blessing to be able to know who your enemies are. 
to see what it is they're planning to do or to even be told to hear that sometimes I'll be sitting and I can't tell people how I know what it is I know, but I just know that someone did something, you did something. I'll know exactly what you did and I won't say anything to you. I'll just let you carry on because how I see it, at the end of the day, you and I may have a soul contract, right? And that's your part to play. So I'm not gonna interfere with your free will. I'm not gonna tell you, hey, don't do that. This is gonna happen. No, I'm gonna let you do it. Cause you obviously have a lesson to learn in this situation. I have, there's someone in here. It's funny that's coming up. I have someone in here I'm hearing if she knew or if he knew, why didn't they say anything? They, they weren't meant to say anything because you have free will to choose what you do in every situation. You have free will. Someone keeps asking themselves that why didn't she say anything? Why didn't he say anything if he knew the whole time? We're not all built the same. Obviously, whoever you're coming after is very much aware of soul contracts, universal contracts, the law of uh, uh, free free will, you being free to do as you please, and you all have been exercising their will, their right, their law, just not in the right way. So now the piper is here to collect. You have to pay. There's no way out of this karma. I don't know who keeps taking spiritual baths and things like that, going to practitioners to get them to cleanse up their energy and things there's nothing they can do there you're going to have to serve your karma someone may not even have money anymore to get washed to get cleansed so my heart is that boom 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 you know when people come to your door unexpectedly and they're knocking and you don't want to answer you're like i'm not answering i'm not expecting anyone um, but my eyes like, I don't care what you're expecting, who you're expecting. You're either going to open this door voluntarily or I'm going to bust it in. And if I bust it in, it's going to be even worse. Pick your battle. And then you go to the door slowly. Hi, my eyes. Is it time already? Yes. And then that's when she's, no, 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 no. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. My eyes are, my sister, would you, would you hush? Don't vex me. When you were doing all this stuff, did you say you weren't ready? You weren't ready? No? Ah, you are still ready then. Come on. 19, 10, completion. Something is done. You're moving on with your life. New beginnings. I'm telling you something is done. Balance is being brought into a situation. Something is done. Something is done. Some, something is done. Someone is out. <laughs> baby the universe is a marvelous place to be and to know it's a marvelous being a beautiful being yeah it's very it's interesting that star C, it's like i'm speaking for someone this is like you waking up every day and knowing people are trying to destroy you. But you go out every day with a smile on your face. Kind to everybody. You're smiling. No hate in your heart for a soul inside, even though you know what they're doing. You choose to be kind. And it's things like that that makes the karma even worse. When you know what people are plotting, you know who's involved, but you still show them kindness. These are false religious people. Someone went into lies to false religious people, or someone pretended to be religious 